what's up everybody, this is Kyle and coming to another video review. And today I'll be reviewing the WWE WrestleMania 35 Basic Series Woken Matt Hardy. That's right, finally got this figure and he does not disappoint. Now if you saw my review of the John Cena figure from the series, you know, this was one, this was pretty much the figure I wanted the most from the set. And special shout out and thanks, you know, to my good friend, Josh, aka Josh's Toy Show for hooking me up with this figure. He went to Five Below recently, and he knew I was looking for this figure, so he picked it up for me, along with the Basic Series 92, Mandy Rose, which I will be reviewing later on today, so stay tuned for that. So, thank you so much, Josh, you know, for picking, you know, you know, for hooking me up with this figure. I really appreciate it. Again, you did not have to do that, but I really appreciate you doing that. Anyways, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the awesome packaging first. Anyways, there's a picture of Matt Hardy from the event. The WrestleMania logo. Woken Matt Hardy. I don't know why it's in quotes though. Of course, we got the figure there. And then the back, the other figures in the set, we got Charlotte Flair, Trish Stratus, Elias, of course, Woken Matt Hardy, John Cena, and Kevin Nash. I already have I already have uh, John Cena. I reviewed him recently. Try to check that out if you haven't seen that. Charlotte Flair, I might get her. Trish Stratus, pass. I don't like the attire on that one. Elias, I do want to get him at some point. And Kevin Nash, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging, so let's open this figure up and see if it's wonderful and delightful, or does it deserve to be sentenced to deletion? Anyways, we'll find out. We'll be right back. Here we have Woken Matt Hardy open up and out of his packaging. Now this figure is awesome. Mattel, you nailed it with this figure. Man, this figure was definitely well worth the wait, you know, for me trying to find this. Like I said, I couldn't find this figure anywhere when I looked for the WrestleMania 35 figures. All I could find was John Cena or Charlotte Flair. And that was pretty much about it. Like I said, I wanted this figure the most, so it was definitely worth the wait. Fantastic. Head sculpt, dead on. I absolutely love this head scan. Usually I hate it when Mattel does these goofy expressions, but this one fits perfectly for Matt Hardy, especially with the Woking character. Just perfect. Now, I think they kind of screwed up with the uh, true effects thing on his face here with the beard. I mean, I mean, it's there. It's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. It looks a little sloppy. At least they got it right with the eyes, too, because sometimes they really screw up the eyes when they do these true effects with um, things. It's nice sculpting on the hair. Dang it, stupid camera. There it goes, sorry. Now he's got the white wrist tape, as always. And the pants that he wore from WrestleMania 34 when he won the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Which, this was one of my favorite pairs of uh, of pants that he ever wore in the ring, so I'm glad that they, that they uh, made a figure of this attire. Looks awesome. And for a comparison here, here is uh, Matt Hardy from the Hardy Boys 2-pack which I have right here. Now, at first glance, I thought th that the head sculpts were exactly the same, but they're not. This head scan is just him straight up, like, smiling or screaming. This one is definitely the Woking character, so I'm glad they got that down. So. Awesome. Anyways, articulation. Pretty much standard for a basic figure nowadays. Uh, head can rotate 360, but his hair... Gets in the way, so be careful so you don't damage the, the joint. You can look down a little bit and can kind of look up. Arms will rotate 360. You can go in and out. No bicep joint, unfortunately, because this is the basic. You can bend the elbow and rotate the elbow. Rotate the wrist and the hinge. Of course, he has waist. And the legs can go forward about that far. And back about that far. They can bend at the knee. And no ankle joint or anything, but they do swivel slightly and it does have a kinda ankle pivot, but that's about, but it really doesn't. I mean, it was just the way they inserted the joint. It was overall this figure is fantastic. I'm so glad I finally got my hands on this figure. Again, thanks to my good friend Josh for hooking me up with this figure. Check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So check him out. He does fantastic wrestling figure reviews. Just excellent. 
Yeah, my Gladiator's tag team partner. So again, thanks again to my friend Josh for hooking me uh, for hooking me up with this figure. It was definitely well worth the wait of me trying to get this figure. So this figure is wonderful. So I'll give this figure a. Um, to be honest with you, I'm gonna give it a ten, a ten out of ten. I honestly have no complaints about it. I mean, the true effects thing is a little off, but. But judging by the picture, it looks kind of accurate, but not 100%. But I can come some slack with that, because they always mess up with the true effects thing. Anyways, that's all I have to say. So if you're a Matt Hardy fan, if you can find this figure, you know, pick him up. You know, these figures have been popping up lately at Five Below and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I think even places like Home Goods. So if you're still looking for these WrestleMania 35 basic figures, you know, and even the two-packs as well, you know, you know, get out there and happy hunting. Make sure you check those stores. And good luck. Anyway, so if you're a Matt Hardy fan, definitely pick up this figure if you can. It's definitely worth it. Whether it's the ten dollars at Walmart or Target, or even the five bucks at a, a Five Below or whatever, it's definitely worth it. So pick them up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, like my Facebook fan page, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and be sure to follow my good friend Josh's uh, YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. Links are links to all those accounts are down below. So check them out. And you can message me anytime you want, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.